You'd never get here. How'd you make out? Oh, fine, fine. I, I'm a full-fledged buffalo scout now. Good. Yes, sir, we got a new job of work to do when we get around to it, Ananias. Yeah, what's that? We've got to see if we can uh, kind of head off these buffalo skinners so as we can keep peace with the Indians. Great. Where's Pee Wee? Oh, he's camped over there across the flats cooking up some grub. You're just in time. Well, that's fine. I, I'm so hungry, I could eat my way to the wildcat. <laughs> well, with Pee Wee doing the cooking, that's just about what you get. Say, <laughs> <laughs> Ananias. Well, that's another herd wiped out. These outlaw Skinners have got to be stopped. The Skinners didn't do that, Tex. That makes you think so. Them buffalo was killed to supply meat for the men that's building that new railroad through here. The Indians don't object to that, do they? Well, no, the Indians don't object if they know you're killing the buffalo for food. But that's only a cover-up. Don't take 500 head of buffalo to feed a handful of men. Say, I bet you're right. You know, last week in Dodge City, Ananias, 60,000 hides were shipped to market. Uh, they left all of that meat to go to waste on the plains. That's what the Indians object to. Now, these buffalo here are freshly killed. You can tell that. The boys that done the job can't be far away. Let's see if we can pick up the train. Well, Foster and Sellers should be satisfied. That's 5,000 skins we've sent them in 30 days. Yeah, and the Indians are liable to start tearing up that new railroad to get even for it. <laughs> That's not our worry. Well, I just spotted another large herd over in the big flats. Good. Mount up. been looking for. Pete, you and Red take the left. Come with me, Bert. Closer to them rocks. Would be easy targets for them. Did you recognize them, Bull? No. We better head back to Santa Fe and report to Foster. Well, I didn't get a very good look at them, but I've got a hunch that we haven't seen the last of that bunch. What do we do now, Tex? Oh, I don't know. I've been thinking, though, Ananias. 
I haven't seen my mother since she moved to Santa Fe about a year ago. Thought maybe we might drift down there and pay her a visit. She'd be glad to see us. Think of all the fun we can have. Maybe pick up a few souvenirs, like uh, buffalo hides. No, no. Well, outlaws, maybe. No. Gay parties, pretty girls. No, I think the best... Did you say pretty gals? Uh-huh. You know, uh, maybe a little vacation in Santa Fe would do us good. <laughs> I wonder what's keeping Ananias. I'll be dogged if I know. Oh, the stew is all done and are ready to be et. Or should I say eat? Et, eat, et. Oh, well, it's done anyway. Hello, Pee Wee. Glad to see you, Tex. You're just in time. I was getting ready to serve Chuck. Well, that's fine. I'm so hungry I could eat my way to... Hey, what are you cooking? Stew. And wait till you taste it. Boy, it's the cats. Well, that's nice. I guess you wasn't lying. Well, come on, boys. Come and get it. Come on. Boys about ready to hit the trail? Just about. Yeah. I'll be ready in a minute. That's good. Hey, snap into it, you two. I'm getting at your feet. Be right with you, Tank. What do you got there, Pee Wee? Uh, cards. I learned to be a magician while you were gone. Uh, got it out of a book. <laughs> How's that? Well, that's pretty good. What else can you do? Oh, gosh, almost anything. Uh, palm money, oh. take rabbits out of hats, and make things disappear. Well, I'll tell you, Pee Wee, if you ever figure out a way to make yourself disappear, let me know, will you? If you ever learn to do that, you've got something. Oh, gosh, Tex. All set, Tex. A Kurt will follow the wagon trail. When we hit the North Fork, you take the boys and go into the Army post. Tell Captain Riley to send a detail out and pick up those dead buffalo. Right, Tex. I'm acquainted with a high flying order, and I sometimes kiss girls good night. But shucks, they're all fossils and beaten, and drink that pink tea by the pail. I ain't used to that sort of stampede outside of the scientific trail. Yo ho, yo ho, just England throws in a pay. Down the road, way back on the Arkansas sand, with a smile like an acre of sunflowers and a little brown bird in her hand. Now she mounted her pinto so airy, she rode like she carried the mail, and her eyes near set far to the prairie, alongside of the Santa Fe Trail. Yo ho, yo ho.
the father's gone, there isn't much for me to do but come out here. Well, I hope you'll like old Santa Fe, Miss... Uh, just what did you say your name was? Gray. Laddie Gray. <laughs> Very happy to know you, Miss Gray. This is my friend here, Miss Louise Massey. How do you do? Glad to meet you. Miss Massey here lives in Santa Fe. Oh, you'll love it there. Yeah, it's gonna be a real town someday. My brother runs the old Trails Freight Line. Do you know him? Jeff Gray? <laughs> well, I... I hear tell of him. Miss Massey here knows him very well. Yes, Jeff often speaks of you. But he didn't tell me you were coming out. I thought I'd surprise him. <laughs> <laughs> Stage will swing around the bend there in a minute now. Hope we get something more out of the strong box this time. Exactly a hold up, folks. Just throw that strong box down, and nobody'll get hurt. All right, step out. Give him back his wallet now, miss. <laughs> I don't want your money. All right, hold it, you fellas. You can just put that strong box back where you found it. All right, boys, put away your guns. Well, this is a surprise, sure enough, Tex. Well, I'm more surprised than you are. What's the layout? Oh, nothing serious. You ladies can get back in the coach now. I hope you're not frightened, none. Oh, no. We're not frightened. driver. Hey, come on in. He's not getting away with this. I'm drawing on him. I said to put those guns away. I'm still running this outfit. Don't forget that. I'm sorry he tried that, Tex. It's all right. <laughs> I don't think he'll try it again very soon. Say, what's the matter with you, anyhow? You know that this kind of stuff is not going to get you any place. You're right. What do you intend to do about it? Nothing. Thanks, Tex. But the next time it may be different. Would you mind telling me what drove you to be a road agent in the first place? Well, there's a lot of things I should tell you. Oh, you got my message, didn't you? I know, I... What message? I sent you word a month ago to come to Santa Fe. It was about your mother. My mother? Well, nothing's happened to her. Well... She's not... How'd it happen? Outlaws. You know who they were? Not yet. We'll ride into town and find out. No, Tex, I can't show up in town till I clear myself. Somebody in there's framing me for every crime that's committed in Santa Fe. I see. 
Well, I'm a stranger there. So it's up to me. Who is he? Just a young fellow who believes in law and order. Well, he's not going to get far if he don't quit poking his nose into other people's business. That's where you're wrong. He's one of the fastest men with a gun in the Southwest. And one of the finest. loved his mother better than his own life. I wouldn't want to be the one responsible for this. This takes the rest of my life. We're with you, Tex. I have a plan. So when we hit town, I don't want anybody to know who I am. From now on, I'm Tex, uh, Tex Houston. Well, we have a lot of work to do when we reach Santa Fe, so let's get started. I think we understand each other. As agent for the railroad, I'm authorized to buy any operating freight line at my own price. What about Jeff Gray's outfit? You think you can get it, Foster? Hodge, we'll not only get Jeff Gray's freight line for you, but we won't pay a cent for it. Right, Sellers? We got a way of getting what we want around here. That's your affair. I don't care how you get it, as long as I get my cut. Things blew up at the pass. The government sent out some buffalo scouts. Well, don't worry. Just lay low for a while. We'll take care of them the same as the others. Right now, we got something more important for you to concentrate on. Jeff Gray's freight line needs a little discouraging. I get it. When do I start? Stick around. We'll let you know when we need you. Now, just when do you want that line? Glad to see you're doing so well, Jeff. I couldn't be better, sis. Business is growing all the time. But the new railroads, they're getting close. Won't they hurt you? No, laddie, the railroads are very fair. When they move this far, they'll buy me out. And at a nice figure. <laughs> I'm sort of counting on it. <laughs> oh, but here I am, boring you with a lot of talk about business. Say, have you um, heard any more from the fellow who prevented the holdup? Not a word. All I know is that I heard his name is Tex. Too bad. I, I'd like to meet him. So would I. Huh? Oh, oh nothing. <laughs> well, come along, and I'll show you where we live. Why, it's you. <laughs> uh, yes, it's me, all right. I mean, Tex. Oh, um, Mr. Tex. <laughs> Say, I'm sorry about your groceries. Oh, that's all right. It was my fault. Um, uh, I didn't get a chance to thank you for what you did out on the trail. Oh, that wasn't anything. It wasn't anything? 
Why, that man might have killed us all. No, no, no. I'm afraid that he was just scaring the driver so he'd be more careful. Do you uh, live in Santa Fe? Why, no, I... But I think maybe that I'll stay around a while now. <laughs> oh, I, I beg your pardon. Are you hurt? No, that's all right. I... Oh, Jeff, uh, this is the man I told you about, Tex. This is my brother, Jeff Gray. Well, I'm glad to know you. Tex, uh... Houston. Tex Houston, I'm very glad to know you too, sir. Say, I think this Gray family's got it in for me. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I, I want to thank you for helping Laddie out. I consider it a great personal favor. Oh, I was glad to do it. Oh, maybe Mr. Houston would like to come to your party, Laddie. Oh, would you? Say, I'd be glad to. Fine. I'll let you know when it'll be. If you're passing by in the meantime, drop in. It's the last house up this road. Well, oh, thank you. Thanks. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Yeah. Let's see you pull a rabbit out of your hat, funny man. Well, I'm fresh out of rabbits. How about a chicken? All right, let's have a chicken. All right. Give me a hat. <laughs> now, give me your hand. Now, here's your chicken right out of the shell. <laughs> Gosh, the farmer told me that egg was ready to hatch. Why don't you? Oh, oh, no, Leave him alone, stranger. He's just having a little fun. Yeah, at my expense. <laughs> I said, leave him alone. Watch Bull give that Maverick the real going over. made a monkey out of you. Shut up. I'll fill that guy so full of holes he'll look like look a... Look away, you fool. If you set him in front of all these people, he wouldn't have a chance. Well, maybe you're right. You wait till I meet that bird the next time. Well, I guess the problem of who's going to be the next marshal has just been solved. Have him come to my office. Well, we sure gave him a bath. Yeah. I guess he needed it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you find out, Tex? Nothing much yet. Only that there's a well-organized gang operating around Santa Fe. Maybe it's that three-fingered Rogel in his outfit. No. No, I'm pretty sure it's not him. But whoever it is, they're trying to pin their deals on Rogel. And from what the townspeople say, they're making a pretty good job of it. Why are you so sure it ain't Rogel? Someday I'll tell you, Pee-wee. Stranger, Mr. Foster would like to see you over in his office. Mr. Foster? Who's he? <laughs> Why, he's one of our leaders of this town. Oh, well, I'd sure like to meet him. I'll see you later, Pee-wee. Tex Houston, huh? Tex, the town of Santa Fe is growing, but it needs law, young fighting law. Well, I agree with you. What's that got to do with me? There's been a lot of raw things happening here lately, and the townspeople are beginning to kick. Well, I can understand that. And it won't be long before they'll insist on selecting a town marshal of their own. We don't want that. Why not? Well, it would sort of leave us out of control. In a way, it would say, it would be great for you if we appoint you marshal. Why, yes, I think it would. But have you the legal right to appoint me town marshal and make it stick? You bet we have. 
And in so doing, we transfer our authority to you. Then I'm your man. You gentlemen have done me a great favor. And I'll see that you get all that's coming to you. Oh, fine. Now, if you'll just sign this paper, everything will be all set. And here's your badge. Sister Sue and Linda Lou, they're all at the bunkhouse, jamboree, gay old time, music's fine. Drop your cares and woes and fall right into line, say, take off your spurs, check your gun and join the fun and come out to the bunkhouse. Everybody grab your butt. Band picking out dough. All join hands, balance, all grin at pretty girl, walk the hall. Swing your partners, everybody swing. Ain't had a drink since way last spring. All join hands, look to the left. Watch your partners getting out of breath. Hell of a man, grand right man. Watch them go, chicken, call them a little more dough. Milk your cow, rope your calf. Swing your partners once in the hand. Sit to the right and hold your mic. Keep that tail and takes all night. Circle four, little bit of ring. Grab them tight and everybody swing. Grand right and left. All join hands, a great big ring. Squeeze them tight, everybody swing. get together in this territory can be complete without a song from Santa Fe's own. Here they are now, Louise Massey and the Westerners singing in the heart of the West.
Folks, we got a great treat in store for you tonight. I don't suppose you knew the marshal can sing. Oh, I can't sing. Oh, yes, you can. I heard you when you passed my house the other day. Please sing. I'd like to hear you, too. <laughs> well, I... I don't guess I can refuse the ladies. <laughs> How about a play party song? One. All right. Everybody choose your partners for Shoot the Buffalo. Let it go, boy. Oh, we'll shoot the buffalo. Yes, we'll shoot the buffalo. We'll rally through the sagebrush and shoot the buffalo. We'll shoot the buffalo. Yes, we'll shoot the buffalo. We'll rally through the sagebrush and shoot the buffalo. Rise ye up, my dearest steer. Present me to your paw. We'll all march together to the state of Arkansas, where the hawk shot the buzzard, the turkey stopped his toe. We'll rally through the sagebrush and shoot the buffalo. Oh, we'll shoot the buffalo. Yes, we'll shoot the buffalo. We'll rally through the sagebrush and shoot the buffalo. I have I had a old saddle, I hung it in the law. Along come a cowboy and cut the pockets off. Oh, he cut the pockets off. Yes, he cut the pockets off. Along come a cowboy and cut the pockets off. Now the buffalo is dead, cause we shot him in the head. We'll rally through the sagebrush and shoot the buffalo. We'll shoot the buffalo, yes, we'll shoot the buffalo. We'll rally through the sagebrush and shoot the buffalo. Singing Marshall, the townspeople kind of like him. Yeah, but just wait till that freight wagon doesn't go through on schedule. Wouldn't you like to hear Louise Tex and the boys sing where the buffalo roam? <laughs> we hear the tramping, stamping of the buffalo, rumbling all the tumbleweed. You will hear the batter and clattering of the buffalo. Thundering in wild stampede Where the buffalo roam I'll build a home A home on the range for you again. They ambushed me. I tried to get away and they creased me. I wonder what excuse Bull will have this time. There's no getting around it. We've got to get rid of Tex Houston. He blocks every plan we have. It was you who wanted him in, Foster. And it's me who wants him out. I thought he'd tumble and cut in with us. But he really believes in law and order. There's too much at stake to let him spoil it now. Just spotted one of Gray's wagons coming in, boss. Oh, about 10 miles out of town. All right, Bert, get the boys and get it. Wreck it, do you understand? And don't make the same mistake the bull did. Don't worry. I won't miss. I 
Thought I told you to get out of town. Houston, you can't drive a man out of town. You've got no proof. This man's bad reputation is all the proof I need. Tex, I don't think we understood each other when you joined up. And I know we don't now. That's just it, Foster. I think we do. We as selectmen of this town demand that you resign and get traveling. Let me set you straight. You haven't the nerve to take me out of office. There may be a few questions that you wouldn't like to answer. Until I finish my personal job, I'm staying. Good day, gentlemen. What do we do about him now? The same we did to Rogel. Frame him. comes now. Let him round the bend and then we'll take him. Do you mind telling me just what's up and why we left town so fast? Well, I've got a hunch, Ananas, that somewhere along that road, that freight line is going to be attacked. We'll be able to get our proof firsthand. Well, why didn't you swear in some help? We may need it. Didn't have time. Outside of letting Jeff, I don't know who to trust now. You're kind of high on that gal, ain't you? Yes, I think she's about to... Mind your own business. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's the, there, there's the wagon now. Recognize any of them, Bill? Is he dead? Yeah, they got him. You take the wagon on into town. Where are you going? To pay a little visit.
I'll see you later, Anna. Stay right there, partner. Get those hands away from your sides and keep them away. Hey, you ride right ahead there. Come on, I'm right behind you. Hello, Jax. Howdy, Rogel. Say, will you get this gun out of my back? It's all right, Shifty. Sit down, have a cup of coffee. Fine. Don't care if I do. How's everything in town? Well, that's what I came to see you about. Well, you're not in trouble, I hope. Well, no, but you were right. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you know that you're blamed for just about everything that happens in this community. Yeah. But you don't believe it, do you? Well, no, I don't believe it, but everybody else in town does. When you got me out of that scrape in Texas, I didn't tell you who it was that framed me because I wanted to handle it by myself. So, I joined the law. <laughs> well, that's a new one on me. That stagecoach holdup had me completely fooled. <laughs> well, that was part of my plan. The night your mother was taken away, I found this gold nugget on the floor by the window. Now, that's not much of a clue. On the contrary, it is. That particular nugget happens to be tiller right over. And the only place I found where you can get that is Cripple Creek. I've been watching the stagecoaches from Cripple Creek to Santa Fe. Find out anything? I found out that Foster and Sellers write to somebody in Cripple Creek. Foster and Sellers? When we made Houston Marshal, we thought he was a fine, upstanding citizen. Instead, he merely used his office to give him and his gang more power. That man in that wagon and the marshal were in my office, and they had some words. Well, Tex threatened him. Isn't that right, men? That's, That's right. right. You're making some mighty strong charges against a man who isn't here to defend himself. And why isn't he here? When he was surprised trying to rob your freighter, he took to the hills to figure out his excuse. Didn't he, men? That's right. Well, you've got all the proof you need. Throw that man in jail and then go hunt for Tex Houston. They came after me, but I got away. Well, then it must have been Foster and his gang that killed my mother. Right. I need just a little more proof, and then I... You wait here with him in. I'll send for you. I'll be waiting, Tex. Rogel? Just who is that fellow? My sister's boy. Houston, we arrest you in the name of the people of Santa Fe. Well, what are you boys driving at? You played your last trick, and talking will just get you in deeper. I'm so tough, I use Bobwa for a bridle, and my whip is composed of a rattlesnake. In the paths of the heart, I'm never riding. But I've never proposed for my cat to say Yippee-yi-yo, I'm a troubadour A troubadour of the prairie Yippee-yi-yo, I'm a troubadour I sing in the tune I can carry One dark night a maid said my kiss was divine 
and for it alone she would gladly be mine. I said, fair maiden, I'm filled with remorse. You weren't kissing me, you were kissing my horse. Yippee-i-o, I'm a troubadour. The guy all the gals want to marry. Yippee-i-o, I'm a troubadour. A troubadour of the prairie, that's me, C.C. You don't seem to be worried none over our predicament. <laughs> you know, Ananias, you're always worried about something that never happens. You remind me of a feller that I knew once about ten years ago. The doctor told him he had six months to live. You know what he done? He sold his ranch, made out his will, and went home and sat on his front porch, waiting to die. You know what happened? What? He's still waiting. He ain't dead yet? No, not yet. <laughs> so you see, there's no use to worry about anything. Now, you know, Ananias, if that jailer was to walk in here right now and tell us that we are supposed to be hung tomorrow at sunup, you know what would happen? What? We'd be hung tomorrow at sunup. <laughs> Lady, what are you doing here? I just had to see you, Tex. We've done everything we could, but we're helpless. And I know you're innocent. Oh, thanks. Now, how are things going with Jeff? Looks as though we're through. Through? Yes. If by three o'clock Jeff doesn't get a wagon out of here, we've lost everything. Well, why can't he get the wagon out? We can't hire any drivers. They've been frightened off. Someone wants our freight line. You tell Jeff to have his wagon ready. And if you see Pee Wee, tell him to come a running and bring his magic with him. We've got that just the way we want it. Any day now, the railroad will be in to buy the freight line. When Jeff Gray doesn't send his wagon out today, he loses his franchise. Then we step in in time to take it over and sell it to the railroad. Did you do what I said? <laughs> We've got every man so scared of that job, they'll never get a driver. All right, keep Gray's office covered. That wagon must not leave town, understand? Right. You won't make it, Jeff. They'll kill you. That's the chance we take, laddie. Did you ever see this one? Say, that's pretty good. Watch this. That's very good. Oh, that's nothing. No? No. Uh, have you got a pair of handcuffs? Sure. Why? Oh, I know a good trick. But we got to go inside. All right. Now, you handcuff me to the bar. Put out your hand. I'll put the other hand through the bars. That's it. There. Let's see you get out of that. Now you watch.
Gollies. That ain't nothing. No? No, anyone with half a brain can do it. Even you. You think so? Why, sure. Now, give me your wrist. Yeah. Now, you try and get out. Well, I guess I can't get out. Are you sure you can't get out? Yeah, I'm sure I can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> you better go and get the key. That's over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's that little key. <laughs> no, it's the big one. <laughs> no, that big key won't fit this little lock. <laughs> no, but it'll fit this one. <laughs> <laughs> Say, what's the big idea? That's against the law. <laughs> hey, you, you can't do that. That's against I'll the never law. make fun of your magic again. <laughs> he really knows a lot of good tricks. <laughs> Here's your gun, Anna Nice. <laughs> All right, boys. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. You boys get my horse and meet Rogel at Devil's Canyon. Wagon through. Pronto.
Handcuff him. That's the tiller right over that you was looking for. Shooting's too good for him, Uncle Don. Where the buffalo roam, I call my home, where friends are always true. Where the Stamping of the buffalo, rumbling all the tumbleweed. You will hear the batter and clattering of the buffalo, thundering and wild stampede. Where? 